Good morning guys, although I really should say good afternoon because it's already um, after three I think, or is it just now three? Uh, almost three. Um, so I had a pretty late start to my morning because my sleep schedule is still all screwed up and I think I went to bed around like four. So um, yeah, but I finished all my morning stuff. Hi buddy. Hi Panda. Looking at me really cute. Um, I finished all my morning stuff, all my CF stuff, and I think I'm going to head out for a walk. It is a little on the hot side, it's 87, but it's 87 feels like 87 instead of 87 feels like 100 like a couple weeks ago, so, you know, I'll take it, and the sunshine just makes me happy. The, the bright sunshine just always lifts my mood, so, not that I'm like sad or anything this morning, but it makes me happy, and I want to do what makes me happy, so, that's what I'm going to do. Um, hang on, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, my dad was calling me because we were working out some stuff with my medicines. Um, so anyway, but I don't even remember where I left off, but <clears throat> I'm gonna go out. I am excited for the Bolts trivia in three hours. The first place prize is a free chicken tenders for a year, and the second place prize is an autographed stick. I really want that stick. I wanted the stick last week. I think it was Sorelli. Um, Anthony Sorelli, I think it was his stick that was signed last week. I didn't say who it was um, this week, but I was like, I want it. I probably won't win it. I've been, I've been doing fairly okay, but not like, like the first place people have been getting like every question right. So probably doomed, but <laughs> I'll have fun regardless. Um, <clears throat> and uh, just gonna hang out. There has been no more uh, alarms going off, so I don't know what that was yesterday. But there's been, it's been quiet all day today, all quiet all night, last night. So. I don't know if the neighbor set off a fire alarm. I don't know if some weird fire alarm was going off in the roof that is above the air. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's not happening anymore. So whatever, it'll be a mystery. Um, and yeah, not a whole lot going on. Today is quarantine day 39. Um, and uh, yeah, I did end up watching Beauty and the Beast yesterday, which I really enjoyed. Um, it is one of my favorite Disney movies. And uh, so now I've seen almost all the classics because before Disney Plus came out, I hadn't seen Beauty and the Beast original and I hadn't seen um, Sleeping Be um, not Sleeping um, Snow White. So the only ones I have left to see now are Sleeping Beauty and Aladdin and then I will have covered all the Disney um, original classics. So I might watch Aladdin, well I, might, I was going to watch it today, it depends on how long it is. I might wait till tomorrow because um, by the time I'm done with my walk and stuff it'll be close to time for the trivia so I'm gonna watch Aladdin tomorrow and then Sleeping Beauty and um, just uh, cover that so I, I don't watch a whole lot of TV and I don't watch a lot of whole lot of movies but um, I have since quarantine so anyway I'm gonna head out for a walk and uh, I'll see you guys in a little while hey guys so I just got back from my walk and I'm eating a little cottage cheese and panda panda hanging out with panda boy and um I, th I have to show you guys though i didn't take one because well i just didn't really want to touch something other people have touched right now but the idea behind it was really nice and really sweet and i love seeing the community come together like this so i'm going to start a picture right here of something that i saw on my walk that made me smile and um yeah just i love seeing people come together you guys know i have that picture in our bedroom window that's facing out that says stay strong florida and um i love seeing other people do little things as well it just it brought me a smile on my walk so here's that and um yeah it was just it was nice hey guys so i'm gonna get this uploaded before trivia night and hopefully tomorrow i can give you the news that i want an autograph stick or a free chicken for a year you know i'll take either one but i'd rather have the stick um probably not gonna win we'll see what happens but um so I thought it'd be kind of cool to do almost like a little time capsule, if you will. Um, I have, I, I, you know, we are living in a period of history and I feel like someday people are going to hear about this, um, you know, pandemic like they did the 1918 Spanish flu. And it's interesting to look at, you know, you don't realize it when you're in the moment. I'm over here just like, I've been in this house 39 days, I'm going to lose my mind. But um, I, we really are living history. And in some aspects, that's like, you know, all the time. But in other aspects, it's like we are living on a history page right now. And um, so I thought it'd be cool someday to, to go back and look at this vlog and, and just you know 
this is what it was like during during those times so um you know just kind of kind of random but it's just kind of what i thought about so this is a letter to future i guess not a letter a video to anybody watching this in the future um whether that be future me or future somebody else um this today is april 22nd 2020 and at this current moment, there are 802,000 cases of coronavirus in the US. There is, I think, 26,000 cases in Florida. There is, gosh, I don't even know how many worldwide. I think 2 million worldwide. I'm probably screwing that number up. Um, at the time of recording this video, I have been in the house for 39 days. The last time I went out to uh, go out for something fun it was March 14th. I went horseback riding. Um, ironically, you know, I didn't expect all of this to happen. Um, March 12th, 2020 is the day that all the sports shut down, all the um, businesses starting shutting down, and um, I believe the Tuesday before that day was the last time, or not the Tuesday before that, maybe the Tuesday, the week prior to that was the last time I went to a hockey game. Um, which was the last time I was really out in a big crowd because there wasn't a crowd during horseback riding. Um, it is... Let's see, what else can I add to this? Um, so like I said, I've been in the house 39 days. Our stay-at-home order went into effect April 1st here in Florida. So we have been under a stay-at-home order in Florida for 22 days now. Um, I have not left to go to the grocery store. I have... The only time I have left in between that time period of March 14th and now is to go out twice to go through a drive through once to go uh, to Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee, and once to go to Starbucks to get some coffee, but I did not leave the car. Um, right now, I am feeling pretty healthy, and I'm thankful for that. Um, uh, fingers crossed. Um, my CF is doing well, and I don't think I have <laughs> um, coronavirus. I have been going out for daily walks and enjoying the sunshine and enjoying seeing neighbors um, uplift each other in the ways that we can. I have been taking Panda for walks. I have been learning ASL and hopefully future me if you're watching this you learned a lot more. <laughs> I have been sewing masks as my crafting project. Um, <laughs> crafting 2020 is sewing masks. Um, I have been washing my hands a lot <laughs> um, using hand sanitizer I have been the new normal is now disinfecting doorknobs uh, disinfecting the blinds disinfecting everything <laughs> um, I do not touch the mail I do not if I take a Amazon box I open it and then immediately discard it if there's a grocery bag um, from putting in the groceries I will put all the groceries away I will throw the bags outside and uh, like immediately I do not leave Walmart bags in here and I will wash my hands after touching all of the groceries um, I <clears throat> I am going a little bit stir crazy, but I know that it's better for me to be in the house, so I'm not leaving. Um, and uh, uh, my dad is an essential worker. He works in the restaurant business, so he's still going out, but they are doing to-go orders only, so um, these people are not in the restaurants at this point of time. And um, he tries to wear a mask if he's going to be interacting with people. I try to wear a mask if I'm going to interact with anybody. Um, if I go out for my walks, I try to stay six feet away from people. I will diverge into the grass or wherever I have to go to get away from people, which is kind of funny, but it's the truth. Um, and like, for example, tomorrow my medicines for my cystic fibrosis will be arriving and I have to sign for them. So I'll be wearing a mask to answer the door and to wash my hands afterwards. If we get any orders in, we do social distancing orders. So if there's like a pizza guy, he will leave it at our door, we'll sign it and he will not get within six feet of us. If we order through DoorDash, they will leave it at our door and completely leave before we even pick it up. So we're never coming in contact. If I get something like, let's just say Wendy's through DoorDash, I will empty it all out of the original containers, put it on a plate, pour the soda in a different cup, throw it all away and wash my hands before eating the food so I'm not coming in contact with anything that was in the restaurant or in the person's car um and yeah this is this is how life has been since coronavirus 
started. Um, the first time it really hit me, um, I think was when all the sports shut down and everything just shut down that day on March 12th. I think that's when it hit me how serious this was getting. Um, not just here in the US, but overall worldwide as well. So that's my little piece of time from, um, from here in Florida, USA um, during this coronavirus stuff. So hopefully someday it'll be interesting to look back on this. Um, and hopefully someday this will be over and when you're watching this this will it'll it'll just be a piece of history and not be uh what it is now so so hope you guys enjoyed that um and i'm going to go ahead and come back to the present moment and say good night to you guys i'm excited about the bolts trivia i um i did some studying i did some quizzes so we'll see what happens um, but I'm just happy to have a little slice of hockey that's not hockey, but it's lightning and I get to get to get together with other lightning fans and we get to just have an hour of fun and forget about everything and that is great. So hang in there guys, stay safe and thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.